Hello guys, and welcome back, real ass left off. Germany has done it. They have declared war on the Soviet Union. And you know what? I am extremely confident that we're gonna win this war. Uh, even though that I'm not actually in the war. I've actually checked this before I began recording. Uh, I'm not in the war. Uh, yeah, there is no Legionaries Bulgaria. I can ask to join the war, but I'm not gonna do that yet. I'm gonna get my men into position first. Like the uh, first, not the first, but the Axis Defense Force. They're gonna go in there first, and then... Uh, then I'm also gonna wait for my Grand Army. Actually, I, I need you to have your best general. You can have your old general back, and you can continue to go into China. You go to China, and we go to the Soviet Union. So where are you? You're all coming up there. Good. So, there's like no men, really, that this... I mean in comparison to Germany. Germany, uh, as we can see here, has nearly a thousand divisions. The Soviet Union, from what I can see, don't, doesn't have nearly as many divisions. That's just Germany. So, I am extremely confident that we have enough men to actually destroy them. What's going on? Uh, what's uh, eight Irish uh, convoys sunk in the? Wow, they're actually really pushing in uh, Africa there. Oh, we got some exiled troops. They're back now. How are we doing here? Iran. Forty-three. Fifty-one. Right. Should be having a a coup any day now. Got the Turkish fronts where. Really, the Soviets are the only one really pushing in. But we shall declare war soon. And I don't know about nukes. I want to save them for threat, for actual threats. Not that I'm saying the Soviet Union isn't a threat, but I believe that we... Demon killed over Southern China. For God's sake, they drop like flies. I'm not... I don't even care anymore. They just drop like flies, these people. Right, well... Grand Armee, you, you're almost in position. There's still a few more coming up. Uh, are you walking? Why are you walking? Just... Just go! There we go. <laughs> All of you. There's a few of you. I think you're just moving around. Uh, what about the Axis Defense Force? You're... You're on the border, right. So, we will... Jump in the war now, I think. Let's we'll start jumping in the war now, and we'll help them out. We probably won't need... They probably won't need much of my help, but... German-Soviet War... Despite the desperate efforts for help, the German Reich refused our request to join their war! What? What? You refuse? Oh, there we go. Okay. What the hell was that about? Uh, Hitler, um, you know, we're always here for you, so if you just want us to join the war- NINE! You will not join the war! Uh, why? Good point, you're in the war! That's essentially what that boiled down to. Ah, uh, right, well... Uh, execute the plan. Yeah. You also. You wait. You actually wait a little bit. But you get ready to execute that plan. Now, uh, what is this one? The s there we go. So the Soviet Union... Oh, wow, our, our wildest estimates still put them below the Germans. And that's like the widest. That's the max it could be. And it's definitely not going to be 700. So Germany definitely outnumbers the Soviets and is definitely killing more Soviets. Well, maybe not just Germany, but you know. The Axis as a whole. And finally, these like 200 men here are moving out. They're leaving Bulgaria and, and that's sucking up all our resources. Okay, very low supplies apparently. Uh, for who? For no one. That's who? Uh, you. Capture all the coast. That's your job. Capture all the coast and come back and kill all the men and go. Like that. There's an airfield there. We... Wow, there's actually ships there. 
Go to the airfield. Go like a lawn here and capture every point. Go then up here to capture that. You won't be able to go there. That's fine. Just capture all the points. Uh, we lost two subs to summon. I think we were being naval bombed or something. Anyway, that's that. Right, that's not important. I'm getting away from the main goal. Main goal is to attack here. I have made a very ambitious front line. If I have a look here, turn some. We can see what everyone else is going to be doing. And there, uh, that's a pretty ambitious line. Anyway, uh, right. So let's go for field hospital level three. Need to save as much manpower as possible. I should have got this at the very beginning of the game. I didn't expect to be using this much manpower, honestly. Okay, uh, begin. Begin your assaults. Let's see, we're attacking across a river. Which is not good, but I hope we might be able to make a stable front line across there. Look, they're about to take that airbase! No, they're not. <laughs> Never mind. They got heavy tanks, though, Japan. They're fighting on all fronts. And this, uh, well, this just isn't, isn't working. Yeah, this just isn't working. Um. Okay, cancel all orders. You, as the reborn frogs, shall pair for an invasion of somewhere. Mongolia? I should really have you on the front line of the actual place I need you to be, so go here. And just prepare an offensive line along here or something. Yeah, go over there. Okay, so we got a lot of divisions down there. How is Tur- Wow, Turkey is not holding up at all. Fall of War, uh, Warsaw. Whoa, Germany forces have advanced into the pole and succeeded in capturing the capital. Never, they never did capture that capital, did they? Well, they have now. Sweet, Jesus, Sweden's got a massive garrison. Not important, though. What is important is we are... I really need to turn this off. We're smashing them. I say that as a load of red lines come up as we fail some offenses, but a lot of them are succeeding. Okay, enable torpedo. Right, next one. Uh, that one, strategic bombing. How are we doing? We're losing far too much manpower. Oh boy, right. We're, we're already at that. I might have to go scraping the bottom of the barrel. It goes 5% more. And the dudes are output by a lot, but... I might need it. I'm running out of manpower quickly. I'll wait till like the last possible second, but... Ugh, Bulgaria doesn't have enough manpower. It really doesn't. I don't know how Germany's keeping up. How many... Soviets have already lost over a million men. <laughs> already. Uh, how... Where are we on that? Only 56k, but still, that's a lot. Right, how are Marines? I'm not making any more men. The Marines are fine, though. Capturing the islands. Capturing New Guinea. Got a load of islands, but they just... They can't use the manpower. But we can, we, we we get a little bit of the population. Maybe. Okay, what I'm gonna do is here. You guys cancel all orders. Front line. Uh, maybe just along here, this small frontier. Do that. And then end your offensive line at the other end of this river. Like that. Oh, we actually lost one. We lost a man. No! No, we lost somebody. Was it a tank? No, we still got the tank. No idea then. Well, we're really running out of manpower, but... Look at this. Germany's pushed so far. So fast. I'm very proud of them. How's production going? Production's going fine. We actually are gaining a lot of uh, land from the Soviets as they push up through here. 
Hopefully this side wins a lot more than this side so we can claim a lot of land and hold on to it and use the factories and population. And you all need to get in position. Right. We'll speed up. I'm hoping this will go really well. Because, like I said, we have far, far more men than the Soviets could ever dream of. Uh, that's not the right one. But yeah, we have far more men than the Soviets could ever dream of having. And we're killing far more men as well. Millions dead on that side and only less than 500,000 on Germany's side. Well, we have one of the largest militaries in the Axis. We're like the... The fourth biggest member. Uh, I just really want Iran and stuff in. Come on, Iraq! Oh, how did you? You lost a load. Should probably stage a coup or something, but I'll take resources away from the front line, and I can't afford it. Eleven nukes. I I definitely don't have. Air superiority, but where am I? Fine, where are my jet fighters? They're over here, right? Jet fighters, come home. Come to Bucharest. Or, well, both of you come here. And then you go there. You're gonna fight in the Ukraine. And you're just gonna stay there. And, uh, we lost another sub. Right, how... We have complete... Okay, we have complete aerial dominance. Wait. Can I be the first man in history to do a nuke? Right. Uh, strategic bombers. We could. I need to get off this. Right, pause. I can drop a nuke. Right on Kiev. I have never used a nuke, but I want to try it out. I think Russia is the perfect staging point for the first nuke. Where is a lot of their army located? Like, there. I can't... Okay, I can't drop it there, because I don't have supremacy over that area. But I... I could drop it... No, I can't drop it there. I can't drop it there. Not there. So where can I drop it? Just this area. What is this? Okay, this counts as a completely different area. So I don't want to drop it in... Maybe I do. Odessia. I like that idea. Okay, guys. Let's see the first nuke I've ever dropped. Okay, so what's this? Bomb will be dropped in 12 hours. Godspeed! <laughs> Bulgarian nuclear team! Slow this down right to a crawl. Oh! <laughs> we dropped a nuke! Oh, such untold devastation! The first nuke that's ever been dropped in this day of the world. Dropped by Bulgaria. Atomic bombing of Odessa. The first and hopefully last time in history a nuclear bomb has been detonated in Odessa as part of an international war. Uh, part of international warfare. The unprecedented destruction stands as a testament to the devastating power of this new weapon, which is feared not only for what it can do to its target, but the implications it has for the one who deploys it, and for humanity itself. The world holds its breath, waiting for the ne what will come next. Will this force the Soviet Union to surrender to avoid further terror, or will it only strengthen the resolve to strike back against those who would resort to such me uh, measures? The atomic era has truly begun. We have destroyed the garrison at Odessia. Okay, uh, we we could drop another one. So, as far as I can tell, this should drop national unity. I think it did, like quite heavily. You can like drop national unity to a crawl if you like break them up with nukes. Now, if I could just get supremacy over England, that'd be great. I need, right, I need another round of jet fighters. Get me more jet fighters. Like, that. The that's the next one you get. 
Take some of the tanks, make some more strategic bombers, get me jet fighters when possible. Like so. They're extremely important. We uh, we haven't taken we haven't taken advantage of it yet though. It is a well fortified city, but I'm hoping with our superiority and the fact that we dropped a nuke on it, we should be fine. How are we doing over here? We haven't executed the plan yet, have we? No, we'll execute it now. We should be able to help push the Japanese... Uh, thrust the Japanese a bit further forward. In the east. Okay, speed that up. How are our good old friends the Marines doing? Yeah, fine. I'll have you... I'll have your target be over here as well. So just keep going, whenever you're ready. And Reborn Frogs, you... You don't have, the, like, an order, do you? Well, you do. You, I've given you an order to, like, do a massive attack over there. Wait till the Grand Armée has come up. Axis Defense Force, you are... You are moving up. You're... You're undersupplied. The problem is we can't really start replacing your numbers. Okay, like I uh, did before, I'm gonna put you on an error front. So, just here, a small front here, you'll have an offensive line that stretches uh, to there. That's your job. Go there. And that is the end of this part, folks. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Next time, more nukes, probably. Could drop another one. If we don't take the city soon, we might end up dropping another one. How many men have they lost? Nearly two million. That's like all... That's the entire war of Germany. That's how many of the Soviets have lost. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. And I'll see you next time. Later.